I'm going to get started. My name is Nikisha Michelle. I am the plus size love doy and I'm the owner of Alternate Match Dating Agency and the Ready Woman G Spot. I'm always preaching that you got to have a mentor. You got to have somebody who can look over you and be like, nope, don't do that. That's a mistake. Don't do that. And help you get what you want and what you desire and what you need. If you don't have that, you're going to constantly be trying to figure this out yourself. And a lot of this is customized based on your personality because based on your personality, you're going to automatically attract certain guys anyway, based on your personality, based on your energy, based on your belief system, you're going to automatically attract certain types of guys. So you do need a mentor or someone to look up to um, and to hear and to be able to know what you've been doing that's counterproductive to what you want, you know? You need a mentor. And that's just simple, okay? So, you know, it's an amazing journey and experience when you finally say, okay, I've invested in everything else in my life. I've invested in school. I've invested in a house. I've invested in cars. Let me invest in the matters of the heart. Let me get my love life where I want it to be. So everything, remember I told y'all last week, I believe a ready woman can have it all. I believe she can have it all. But one of the things a ready woman does is she ain't cheap when it comes to herself. You know, we can invest in things, but we got to be able to invest in our soul, in our hearts, in our personal development. And this is still personal development because you're personally developing to be a wife. Or for those of you who are not into marriage, but a long-term committed partner, you're personally developing there. How much money have you spent in that area? And then that'll let you know sometimes why you're not getting what you want. And if you think a lot of these people are just naturally finding their mates, no, they're not. Somebody hooked them up. Somebody match made them. You know, they went on dating sites. It's all kind of ways that you can find a mate so you don't have to feel like, damn, why do I have to invest in this? Because you're worth it. And you don't want just anybody. You want quality. Message me that you want a 20-minute session with me to explore and see where you are. And we can kind of figure out what you need. And then we can look at which of my services will work well for you where you are. And questions specifically on what we talked about, uh, dating with options. What questions do you have? Ms. Harris, there is a guy who I really like. He has a girlfriend but spends a lot of time with me. Should I leave it alone? Okay. So that's kind of a, a, a double kind of question. Okay. So for, for one thing, what does your soul tell you to do? Does your soul say, leave him alone? If she's just a girlfriend, she's a girlfriend. My husband had a girlfriend when I met him too. But when he started to get a little close to me and he wanted to, you know, just be in my face, I told him, I said, listen, you have a girlfriend. What does that make me? And in a split minute, he was like, that makes you my wife. And he let the girlfriend go. So we got really clear on what these roles are. So you, first of all, you got to know what your soul is telling you. If your soul, if the fact that you asked me that question, usually that is your answer. That's your intuition talking. Let him go. He needs to feel your absence. And if your absence, Miss Harris, I'm hoping I'm saying that name right. If your absence is bothering him, then you have negotiation power with that. Listen, at this stage in my life, this is what I'm interested in. Are you interested in the same thing? Oh, yeah, 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 I want the same thing. Well, here's what I need from you. Then you lay out what you need from him, what you need and what you want. You lay it out. And then if he agrees to it, you move forward. But sometimes your absence needs to be felt. And you need to let him know, um, you know what? We've been, you know, doing something. I don't know what this is. And I have given you access and I shouldn't have. So I'm going to back away and move on and continue to date the other guys that I'm dating. And, um, and I wish you well. 
and I wish you well. That's that's um hey merge, hey, hey Craig, my acting buddy, hey Craig. So that's what you want to do. First, your soul is probably telling you to let him go, but there's a classy way that I teach in my sessions. Um, how to and again, this is about communication and negotiation. It's like that's why if you look at some of my stuff, it say I'm gonna teach you to have bliss from the bedroom to the boardroom because communication is everything. Okay, I've told him what I want. He wants both of us. I don't want to share. Well, then you got your answer, honey. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. He has to feel your absence, and you have to be strong enough. And know that there's so many more men out there available that you don't have to share. But when you start settling and sharing, that shows him what kind of woman you are. And even if you say, I don't want to share, but you're sharing right now. So that lets him know not to even trust what you say. Your integrity is off. So when your integrity gets um, in alignment well, with your belief system, and you back away and you move on and start dating other people, then he'll get the picture. And then it's up to him to make a decision and get his stuff right so that he can be in alignment and integrity. But as long as he know he can toggle between the both of y'all, he will, honey. He having a field day. I don't blame him. If I could just be with two men, I would. I don't blame him. What's the purpose of a guy checking on you but then ghost again? Basically, when they are checking on you, they want to know if they still have access to you. They want to check and see if you have an attitude because they're ghosts. They want to know if they want to come to you, can they still come to you? That's what that means. So out of every guy that you date, you look at the quality that you did like him and you write them down. And then that becomes the list of guys. That becomes your list of what you want in a man. Look at every guy that you're dating, write down the qualities that you like in him, and then that becomes your list of what you want in a relationship. Not you just sitting at home right now, well, I want him to be this, he got to be that. No, you, you only know what you want. Your soul knows what it wants by who you've already dated. And that's what dating is about. That's it. No more, no less. I would say the main thing is you guys need to learn communication. You need to learn sensuality. You need to learn how to date multiple guys at one time. And you need to learn how to walk away. And I definitely teach that in a ready woman and also as a private client, as a matchmaking client.